watching you tonight, I couldn't help but think of a similar situation two years ago where your team was down three games to two and you hit 11 threes in that game. Are some players just born for this situation? How do you stay cool? Um, I don't know if I was born for it, but I definitely worked my butt off to get to this point. Um, and I mean, I guess you can say I was born for it. I guess, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I guess everything happens for a reason. But, uh, oh, man, that felt good, to be honest. I just wanted to play with as much passion as I could tonight. You probably saw me more vocal than I usually am. Um, when, you know, your back's against the wall, there's one, if your shot's not falling, or you can always control your passion and how hard you play. And usually when I do that, it trickles over every other aspect of my game. The only guy who has the green light for quick shots would be Thompson. And Curry, and here is Thompson for three. Here you see Thompson, the great patience, taking that dribble. Adams, who would have been his third. But Durant, his first, a three-pointer for Clay Thompson. He's mumbling, he's probably saying, final. And even if he's healed right now, he still doesn't have that rhythm. The ball handling, the shooting, you see that it, it seems like he just is not comfortable. Thompson, yes, another three for Clay Thompson. But I don't care if Clay Thompson misses 53s in a row. You want him to take the next shot, and you believe he can make it. So they get it back to set it up for Ibaka. Curry with the rebound. Curry on the move. Met by Durant, and he pulls it back. Thompson wide open for three. Clay Thompson shooting them back into it. Curry's ball handling and three-point shooting ability makes everyone come to him. Wide open shot for Thompson, who's letting it fly. Kevin Durant 0 for 6 from beyond that three-point line. Here is Thompson has been on fire, and he hits again. Clay Thompson, his fifth three-pointer. They have got to move the ball better when the ball slows down. Mark. All right, here is Thompson again. Clay Thompson has given the Warriors a one Point lead. Went down, was looking for a foul. Eight point lead for the Thunder. Here's Thompson who just checked back in and knocked out a three. Now, will this be the final 12 minutes of the season? Iguodala. Thompson, a rainbow three. Clay Thompson with his eighth. Three-pointer, the playoff record for threes made. Look at this catch and release. Are you kidding me? He's not even squared up yet. He's squared up as he's shooting, and that's the type of face that everybody makes because that was just a nasty, sick jumper. Iguodala had it knocked away, recovered by Bogut. They get it to Curry, and he fires. Bogut keeping it alive for the new possession. Thompson turning and shooting. What a shot by Clay. Thompson. He is putting on a tough, difficult three-point shot exhibition. That's all heart and will. He's challenging himself. He doesn't want to go home unless it's to play game seven. In the second half. And you see what that patience does. It gives him time to get set and knock it down. A long three for Thompson, and that is an NBA record. His tenth three-pointer of the night. Don't let the pretty shot fool you. That's hard to be able to be down and to trust your skills to let it fly. Westbrook stumbling, lost it. Again, it is Iguodala. Thompson fires for three, yes! Golden State by three. And just like that. Clay just said he is made for this, born for this, to, to do this in big games. Um, what do you both remember from that 2000? <laughs> Please don't go there. <laughs> what do you both remember from the 2016 That's game funny. at Oklahoma really City? <laughs> Next question. We both. I think we both blocked that whole year out of our yeah, memory. For sure. So we're good. <laughs>